Okay, so um, we're done with defining what rigid body and rotation is. Now, we will define some kinematical quantities. Again, remember, we are now in rotation. So, hindi na lang tayo gagamit ng usual na ginagawa nating position, velocity, and acceleration. Kailangan natin mag-define ng bagong um, ng bagong kinematical quantities to describe the motion of a body in rotation, of a rotating body. So, dun papasok yung angular velocity and angular acceleration. Okay, so that will be the coverage of this section for this lecture. So, um, let's, before we go do that, let's go first to our measurement of, of position. So again, I already gave you an idea of what um, with, um, uh, angular position is. So basically, it's an angle measured from some origin. And the measurement of that angle, instead of using degrees, we will use regions in our measurement. So we will, we will introduce the angle in terms of regions. So to convert back to, back to degrees, you just note that one whole rotation is two pi regions. Kung naalala nyo yung high school trigonometry ninyo, basically one revolution is two pi radians. One rev or one rotation is two pi regions or about 360 degrees. So therefore, two pi over 360 or pi over 180. So for example, 30 degrees is basically equal to 30 degrees. Um, the degree yung nasa taas, lagay ka ng 180 degrees sa baba, tapos lagay ka ng pi sa, sa numerator, you get pi over 3. So that will be your uh, measurement for um, the uh, number of regions of, uh, of thir in 30 degrees. So, okay. You might notice that we remove the unit rads. So, uh, ako nilalagay ko minsan yung rad pa rin, pero minsan wala na rin yan because a region is a ratio of units. So this is basically units per units or um, it's basically a dimensional, dimensionless units. Pero for us to be more specific, whether we are dealing with a unitless unit or an angular unit, minsan nilalagay pa rin yung rad na yan. Okay? Clear ba tayo doon? Questions? May tanong ba? May tanong? Wala? Okay, wala. Now, um, angular velocity. So again, we have angular position. So we can define an angular velocity as the rate of change of the angular position per time. Pwede, na, pwede naman natin mag-define ng ganung quantity. So similar to, to your translational motion, we can define a velocity quantity for angular displacement. So the, angular, the average angular velocity is just given by the change in the angular position um, per time. So, ganun pa rin. Um, binago lang natin yung tinitigan natin. Instead of, instead of looking at, at the translational motion, we are now looking at how the object rotates about its axis. So, the omega average here is delta theta, delta t. We are first the, the, defining the magnitude of the angular velocity. Now, the instantaneous angular velocity is just basically the limit as the delta t goes to zero of your average acceleration. So, this is just the time derivative of um, the position of the angular position function. So theta here is in general a function of time. You can define an angular velocity there, which is just the time derivative of theta. Okay? Ganun lang rin. Ganun lang yon. Questions? May tanong? May tanong? Wala? It's the same thing. Sabi ko ka, ulitin lang natin yung ginawa natin before. <laughs> okay. Now, the direction of the other, of course, vel angular velocity is velocity, therefore it is a vector. So the question now is what is the direction of the angular velocity vector? That direction can be obtained using the so-called right-hand rule. So um, yeah, it turns out that the angular velocity can be made to follow the so-called right-hand rule. So um, uh, for example, here, um, strategy lang, um, let me pin my, um, let me, wait lang, uh, nasa na ba ako? Let me shout out uh, spotlight. Let me do my spotlight here. Ano nakikita ninyo? Um, so basically what I will do is, is I will use my right hand. The first, the initial position, is a set the initial position ko doon. I curl my fingers towards my final position. And then the direction of my thumb is the direction of my angular velocity. That is how you define your angular velocity. So doon sa first figure, um, start with some position, papunta ko dun sa kabila, upward, out of the paper. Now, for the second figure, um, I have here this position, papunta ko sa kabila, downward. Therefore, the angular velocity is pointing downwards. Okay? Questions? May tanong ba? Ganun lang basically mag-define ng angular velocity. Okay? So, uh, sorry for that. Um, the angular velocity follows the right-hand rule orientation. Okay. Again, the angular velocity, therefore, is perpendicular to the plane of rotation. Um, so 
medyo magulo tong ano na to. Let me skip this. Mas okay na ipakita ko na lang yung diagram sa kabila. So just like that. So for an object that is rotating, um that's clockwise. So this is clock, I uh, sorry, counterclockwise. The direction of the you screw the 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 follow mo lang kung paano normally rotate yung object and then the direction of the thumb is basically the direction of your angular um of your angular velocity. Similarly for an object uh, that is rotating in clockwise direction, dapat pababa yung angular velocity vector. Now, since 3D ito, 3D motion to, some notations in the book will look like this. So you have um, into uh, you have into the paper, nakalimutan isulat to sa slides, and out of the paper. For into the paper, we have, uh, uh, for into the paper, so kung clockwise ang rotation mo, into the paper yan. Kung counterclockwise rotation mo, out of the paper yan. Okay? You will see more on these notations when you go especially for physics in physics 72. Okay. Now, okay. Okay. Now, um, let's go to angular acceleration. May tanong ba sa angular velocity? Are there any questions in angular velocity? Walang tanong? Questions? Wala? Okay. Sige, wala. So, um, we will assume for the meantime, because again, we're dealing with planar velocities or planar motions. So um, in this case, the only way for um, hindi dapat magbago yung orientation ng plane. Kailangan umiikot lang siya. Umiikot lang siya ganyan. Pati ako umiikot. <laughs> okay. Dapat umiikot lang siya ganyan. Therefore, the angular acceleration should either just change, should only change the speed of the object. Hindi dapat magbabago yung velocity vector mismo ng object. Hence, the, um, in our case, the angular acceleration vector um, should have the direction that's either parallel or anti-parallel to the direction of the angular um, of the angular velocity vector. Okay, so the average angular velocity vector is just basically the same as the average, I should say, the magnitude of the average angular acceleration vector. This should be alpha, not t. Sorry for that, alpha yan. Alpha is the change in the angular velocity vector per time. Yun pa rin. And similarly, we can also define the instantaneous angular acceleration vector as the time derivative of the velocity vector or the second time derivative of the position, the angular position vector. Okay, ganun lang. Okay, again, the magnitude is simply A is the omega dt or d squared theta dt squared, the second time derivative of your position vector. Now, the direction... As I said from the previous slide, the direction of the angular acceleration vector is either parallel or anti-parallel to the direction of the angular velocity vector. Because otherwise, ang mangyayari dyan, hindi na planar motion yan. Magiging, ang magkakaroon ng tinatawag na precession. Precession. Precession will happen if, um, or notation, some books, um, pwede rin notation. Denotation and notation. May mga terms sa ganyan. You will encounter these terms when you go to rigid body dynamics. Um, these two uh, phenomena will happen if the angular velocity and the angular direct acceleration are not either parallel or anti-parallel. Kung hindi siya parallel or anti-parallel, may nangyayari yung precession dyan. Okay? But for the meantime, um, for this course, we will only consider for um, uh, precession or uh, we don't consider precession and rotation. We will only consider um, planar motion, planar rotation. That is, uh, if both the angular velocity and angular acceleration are in the same direction, then the particle speeds up or the, the rigid body speeds up, it's um, spinning. And so meron kang, if uh, this is a rotating body, kung same yung kanyang um, omega and alpha, then what will happen is if it's, it's counterclockwise motion, so positive angular velocity and it's speeding up. Now, if, the, if they are anti-parallel to each other and the one that has positive angular velocity is uh, then um, it's counterclockwise, but it's slowing down until it reaches some rest. And you can also do the same for, um, in that case, omega naman yung negative. Um, omega negative being um, omega, out, um, uh, the, the motion is clockwise. Okay? You can also do the same. Questions? May tanong? May tanong? Questions? Wala? None. None. Okay. Now, 